Peter Marlene to fishing station at 4.30, very busy. Went home 12.30, Marlene got Elisa when she went for something, for skimmer plants at 11.30. Then Marlene had lunch, Alma had lunch, slept from 1.30 to 3, called station, They managed to phone Mr. Williams to thank him for doing something. Marlene came home with Elisa at 6.30, supper. Marlene to bed 7.30. I went to station, had to look for Skiff 17 at fix -It on with Willie. Closed up 8 p.m. Peter back from something job, Jessup's. Soaked, took shower, bed at 8.30. What date was that? That was May 30th. What year? P the next day. Peter left 11 a.m. for Ithaca. Willie to somewhere. Alma came home. Marlene to bed 7.30. I did dishes and then rest till 10 p.m. What year is this, Mom? 64. P partly cloudy, temperature 60, 35 boats out. This is when your husband came? Yeah. Willie is what you called her husband? Yes. Uh, what you call Uncle Bill then? Helmy, which was Wilhelm in German, and Helmy was like Billy in German. Um, Willie to station at 5 a.m. Elisa and I to 8 a.m. Mass. Elisa Sodality at Mitchell's. What's that mean? That was um, like the girls Catholic uh, youth group. And it was at Mitchell's? Yeah, must have been at luncheon or something. Peter to 9 p.m. Mass. Packed and I mended some things. Went to station at 10.30. Got chef on way. Marlene home to go at 11.30. Stayed till 1 p.m. Chicky stopped by Cottrell's with Amy. Chicky. With, with, by Cottrell's. Amy made visit. She came out in 64? Chicky was, Chicky Chiquetta was Marlene's wild boyfriend at an Impala. He was on the, he actually was a very nice boy, but he was on, on the wrong side of the tracks as far as. How old were they in Marlene's? Let's see, in 64, I was, I was born in, I was going on 15, and she was going on 19. Um, Elisa Holm left for Judy's. I slept from 2 to 4.30. Prepared supper, Marlene came home at 5.30. Supper, 6 p.m. Looked at something to station at 645 to get Willie. We had one car. Closed station at 7. Jack Sullivan at house. John Sullivan at house. That's the man that comes to see Uncle Bill sometimes. Willie talked to Rainer. That's the neighbor. Seeing supper. The, the man, to... Captain, what was his name? No, you wouldn't know him. Oh. Would, would, would he be Actually, he had died. His wife was still alive when Aaron and Lisa were babies, and they lived. Uh, oh, I was home. thinking of Captain Ryder. Yeah, no, different guy. And talked to John till 9 p.m. So I'm not going to read more, but that's how, how like, who cares that at 5:30, on any given day, she has. That doesn't have any emotion. It's just what yeah. happened. Like, oh, I felt great today. It's just the facts. Yeah. yeah, that's Marlene and I read this one year, and we were just. There's it's never any subjective. Yeah. There's never anything personal. Um, it's in, it reminds me of how Uncle Bill always has to give you all these facts when he writes his emails, like, Well, we have to be to the doctor at twelve thirty and then I'm gonna come home and rake. Yeah, yeah. Never thought of that. 
but he definitely gets it from her. These things that are like, no one cares but you. <laughs> yes. Important because I know um, a letter from Peter, mail yeah, letter to Peter. Wouldn't they be sisters, Andy? Yeah. 